What's up, you guys? It's Valley Vaughn, the Perfume Don, back at you with another fragrance review. Thank you so much, new subscribers, for joining my Perfume Mafia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope everything's going well for you, and I really welcome you to the gang gang. So, one of the perks of joining my Perfume Mafia, if you're watching and you're not subscribed, is that you could be considered a good person. Don't you want to be a good person? Then go ahead, subscribe to my channel. Also, you should like this video if you like this video because how would I know that you like this video if you just will simply not like this video? Oh, and then also you should subscribe because I put in the community tab. Oh my God, get out of my face, girl. I'll put in the community tab whenever I see a really good discount, a really good deal, a bargain for you dolls because who wants to spend their whole check? I know. Their whole check on perfume, not me. I love a good bargain. I love affordable fragrances. Every once in a while, I go out and little splurge, you know, splurge. But usually, I'm all about affordable because I feel like you can look just as good with affordable, smell just as good. I feel like you can have just as good of a life and more money in that bank account when you do affordable. But every once in a while, it's nice to splurge. And this fragrance that I'm going to be talking about today is definitely a little bit of a splurge, a little bit. It's not like super expensive. For what you're getting, it's still a really good deal, but it is definitely a little bit of a splurge if you're used to more of like celebrity scents. So what I'm going to be talking to you guys today about is a fragrance that was sent to me by Fragrance Net. Now, I guess I have to tell you guys that all opinions are my own and yada, yada, yada. But this was sent to me, so full disclosure, it was sent to me. This was a blind sin. I guess not a blind buy, a blind sin, a blind sin to me because I never smelled this before. I've only heard really, really good things. Oh, okay. So this actual, I was looking at the box and I was like, why don't say nothing on the box? But this is because it's a tester. It says right there that this is a tester from Mancera. But back to Fragrance Net. Fragrance Net, if you've never ordered from them before, I know most of you guys are fragrance heads, so you have. But if you haven't, it's an online retailer where you can get really, really, really stellar, great deals on fragrances you already love. And they have a wide assortment. They have celebrity scents. They have designer scents, tons of designer scents. But they also have another category, which is what I want to talk about today, which is niche fragrances on there they sell by rado it, it depends on what they have in stock but you can also request if you're looking for something and they don't have it you can request that fragrance but they have the armani privés i believe they have the tom fords then you know the upper echelon ones they have the menseras they have the the montels they have those in stock on there but you don't have to worry about wondering if they're fakes like ebay girl i'm looking at you you need to really get a hold of your website because they sell so many fakes on there, but you don't have to worry about that when you're ordering from Fragrance Net. Great deals, authentic, and you can trust them. I mean, what more could a fragrance lover want? So again, what I was sent is a Mancera Coco Vanille Tester Fragrance. So this is a really good indication to see. A lot of people were really afraid. I was talking to my friend actually she was just doing a huge purchase and she was um purchasing from fragrance net she got some really really bomb goodies and if her video's up by the time this one's up i'll definitely share with you guys because she has a really really good haul and uh, compliments of i think most of the selections were you know for me i would like to say but of course she purchased some own some other fragrances on her own but she made some really good uh purchases so check her out if her video's up other than that she was making her purchase she was very confused about if she should purchase a tester or not. So I had to explain to her what exactly it means when you purchase a tester from these sites. Because usually the tester is going to be a little bit more affordable than the actual fragrance price. Maybe the same amount of juice, both 3.4, 1.7 fluid ounce. But the difference is that a tester, tester is going to have an unmarked box okay so like how you can see on this box there's no like markings of mancera or the name or anything the tester's not going to have that because it's a tester they're going to just take it in the store put it out so people can try it before they decide to purchase so there's no need to have like markings on the box or anything like that however and a lot of people don't even keep the box anyway so that's not a huge deterrent for me i buy testers all the time it's not a big thing for me because usually and you'll see the bottle looks the same. The only thing is that sometimes testers come with no cap. So depending on the bottle, 
how the packaging is, it can really make a difference for ink. For instance, think about Moogler's Angel Comet. That bottle looks completely different without the top. Or a Marc Jacobs Decadence, how it has like a little purse. It looks completely different without the top. So that's something to keep in mind. But most of the time, it um, it does have the top. And in this instance, it does have the top. So this is the Mancera Paris Coco Vanel. All of Mancera's fragrances come with the iconic dust bag. This is a patent leather, vegan leather, I should say, gunmetal bag. It has the logo right there, M all over, and then it has the tag that says Man Sarah Paris. This is a sister brand to uh, Montel, and they do the exact same thing. So I think it's so nice. I think it's really cool for traveling, that sort of thing. You have to protect the integrity, protect your fragrance from light, and that sort of thing as well. So when you get it, it's going to be like that. You just take the fragrance out and this is how the fragrance is going to look. So as you can see, this one actually came with the top, which is cray cray, but I'm really happy it did because one of the tops about Men's Sarah's fragrances is the best thing. The fact that it screws on kind of like a bottle cap versus just something that you just pop on. I think it's a little bit, well, clearly it's a lot more secure. And even though I don't recommend it, you could totally pick it up like that from the bottle not just the base because it is like that okay so on to the fragrance so this is a four fluid ounce 120 ml i think all of mancera's fragrances are correct me if i'm wrong but i think they're all a uh, four fluid ounce so unless fragrance net sometimes they sell like atomizers they have their own like almost like a decant service to where they sell an atomizer where you get like a travel spray of the product other than that it's probably going to be a four fluid ounce if you get a mancera scent so this mancera on there right now is about 131 dollars 131 dollars which isn't bad that's about designer prices but this is again a niche brand this is a really good brand to if you want to transition or diversify your perfume okay. collection if you're building your perfume collection and you just want to have like one niche fragrance i think that mancera is a great brand to start with because they have a lot of fragrances that are really like crowd pleasers a lot of people really like um cult favorites but then they also have that great performance most of them um that people really rave about and are happy to spend a little bit more than they usually spend to get something that's going to really last on their ball a okay so on to the fragrance notes. The fragrance notes in this is, it's described as an oriental vanilla fragrance. Interesting, okay? It opens up, it has the, um, so co just to clarify, cocoa vanilla. That's coconut and vanilla, just to put it plain, because I know some people thought cocoa was like, um, like chocolate for some reason, like cocoa powder, that type of thing, but it's, coconut and vanilla i just want to clarify so you guys aren't confused at all it opens up with two stellar notes it opens up with peach and it opens up with coconut very very nice beachy vibes beachy vibes beachy vibes the coconut in there is a very nice creamy like a buttery almost like a oily type of coconut that's what i get i get oily in a good way now, in the heart notes, it goes more into a floral blossom type. There's definitely going to be some ylang ylang in there, which adds almost like an exotic floral element. It also has some, um, it also has tear flower and jasmine. So white florals, exotic florals, that's what really uplifts this fragrance and keeps it very feminine, very delicate, and just really lets the coconut be the star of the show because the florals are just a nice compliment. They really don't really they don't really steal the shine of the coconut if you know what i'm saying like you they're a nice compliment and it just adds a delicate flair some femininity to the fragrance but you're still going to be getting coconut from from when you first spray it all throughout your wear of this fragrance the base notes are going to be musk woody notes and vanilla of course now the vanilla in there i think that it really helps this fragrance keep its longevity i like the fact that this isn't too musky if you're usually a person that runs from us because you think it smells a little bit too mature 
or it just kind of turns in your body chemistry i don't think this is going to be that um, it's not the kind of musk that's going to be like in a gucci bamboo or something like that this just really holds everything together i feel like the musk in there just keeps it light and holds all of the notes together the woodiness isn't too apparent either i think it just helps with a little bit of depth and longevity but it doesn't turn it into like a masculine fragrance however i would consider this a woman's fragrance but i don't think that a man would smell terrible wearing this fragrance i feel like he would just smell like a coconut this smells like a freaking coconut and the performance is really really good the performance is really really good it is going to be a scent that lasts all day now however it's not a huge projecting scent this is a scent on me that sits close to my skin this is a scent to where i feel like you kind of have to be close to me you have to be look you have to break that six foot rule to really be able to smell this you may get whiffs depending on if you overspray it. i've never oversprayed it i've only done like one spurts here and there but i think that it's a fragrance that sits close to the skin but you do get whiffs throughout the day like if the wind blows someone's going to smell it or something like that um with my body chemistry but it does have really good performance and i also think this is a really great scent for layering if you're looking for a scent to layer if you have like some more dominant white floral notes and you kind of want to add a beachy vibe to them or if you have a citrus kind of a fragrance maybe like a lemony fragrance or something like that and you wanted to add a coconut sweeter type scent to it i think this is a really good one for layering it almost reminds me of like a one note fragrance because the coconut in there again is so dominant but yeah really 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 like this fragrance if you're thinking about purchasing this if this sounds like something that you would really enjoy then i do have a code for you all that i'll list right here you can use it um through june and also you can use it through june and all the details will be listed below so that's my review love the fragrance i'm gonna get tons of wear out of this i love that it's a big bottle four fluid ounce so i can really go crazy because i'm an oversprayer i really like to overspray um but i am really excited to rock this one for summer if you're looking for an iconic summer scent this is totally it look no further it's cocoa and vanilla by mancera and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace <music>